I warn, if the genocide in Gaza continues, they will not be spared from this fire. It is our home, and West Asia is our region. The world knows that the Islamic Republic of Iran plays the most constructive role in helping peace and security, as well as fighting terrorism and ISIS. Mr. President, I have been three weeks that we have been witness to the war crimes and genocide of the occupying Israeli regime in Gaza and the West Bank of Palestine. The United States and several European countries have sided with the occupying regime of Israel. Without observing the UN Charter and international law, they call the Palestinian Liberation Movement a terrorist, which has the right to self-defense and self-determination. But they refer to the occupying and war criminal regime that is committing genocide in Gaza and having the right to self-defense. Unfortunately, this is the state of our world today. This is the situation of the Security Council, which was supposed to try to establish world peace and security. Today, United States and several European countries are watching and supporting the killing of about 7,000 civilians in less than three weeks by the Israeli regime in Gaza and West Bank of Palestine. And they help this regime military and financially. We recommend the United States to work for peace and security, not war against people, children, and women. Instead of sending rockets, tanks, and bombs to be used against Gaza, United States should stop supporting genocide in Gaza and Palestine. Mr. President, the history of Iranian civilization shows that we have always supported peace and security. But today in New York and the United Nations, I say frankly to the American statesmen who are now managing the genocide in Palestine that we do not welcome to expansion of the war in the region. But I warn, if the genocide in Gaza continues, they will not be spared from this fire. It is our home, and West Asia is our region. We do not compromise with any party and any side and we have no reservation when it comes to our home's security. The genocide in Gaza must stop immediately. The forced displacement of the people of Gaza must be stopped immediately. Today, Gaza is waiting for urgent and vital humanitarian aid. According to international law, the Palestinian Liberation Movement, Hamas, is fighting the occupation and has a legitimate right. Mr. President, according to our negotiations, Hamas is ready to release civilian prisoners. On the other hand, the world should support the release of 6,000 Palestinians held in Israeli prisons.